Welcome back yet another month and it means another edition of Buzzing for Books. Emily Harris joining me to talk more about some popular books that are making their way out in and out of the library. And I did want to start with this uh, because I know we're kind of leaning away towards winter. Yeah. It seems like we're thawing off a little bit, but Frozen River uh, by Ariel Lawhorn. Uh, what is it that you've seen in this one? What can you kind of uh, give us a synopsis of? Sure. It is a historical fiction book, but it's also a mystery and it's very scandalous. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit of everything. It's about uh, a real person, but it's a fictionalized account of it. She's a midwife and a healer in their town. A dead body is frozen in the river and she's called upon to examine the body and find a cause of death. But then another local physician undermines what her findings were. And so then there's friction in the town and disagreements. And she keeps a detailed diary of everything that she does, like records mm -hmm. for all of her medical um, experiences. And that becomes the center of the plot. And it's just a mess. And I'm assuming within our next book, Bride, the protagonist also probably a female character as well, too. Yes, and she's also a vampire. Okay. So if you miss the vampire craze, we have a new book for you. She is living with humans, and then her dad is a very influential, important vampire. And so he uses her to broker a deal with werewolves mm -hmm. to try and bring the community together because it's divided between humans, werewolves, and vampires. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of political tension and reasons for it. Um, a lot of different layers to the story. She also has a friend who just up and disappears. And then she has to have this arranged marriage with a werewolf. And they don't like each other because they're from different groups, or do they? I'm picturing really werewolves like and vampires yeah. now just at a table trying to like settle a lawsuit. Right. Trying to figure, <laughs> trying to figure <laughs> yes. this one out now. Yep. Um, so that's something to know about. Uh, yeah. How to know a person as well too. What should we know about this one? Yeah, this is something different than what I usually bring and read myself, but okay. it sounds interesting. It's kind of a socio sociology book. It's about how um, it's hard for humans to really make people feel, feel seen and understood and validated. So. This author, David Brooks, he did research with education and philosophy and psychology and theater. He just really took a broad look at how people can make each other pe feel mm -hmm. good and understood. And it's about his research and how you can interact with people better. Something that I know makes people feel good is when yeah. they're not hangry. I'm sure this, oh, so next, one, this next one's probably yes. going to be a really great one to touch on. Yes. Um, I like that it's, so it's 30 minute meal prep. Mm -hmm. I like that it's only 30 minutes to prepare food because when I look at cookbooks, I sometimes forget that they are not menus right. and that I have to do the work. <laughs> so <laughs> there are some really good recipes in here. Spi spicy pork noodle bowls, Mexican chicken with rice and corn, chicken macaroni and cheese, beefy lasagna bowls. There's Thai recipes. I lost count of how many recipes for steak there were. Mm -hmm. So lots of delicious options in there that won't take you a long time to prepare. Have you personally gotten to try one or two so far? I sure hope so. I've got a <laughs> list. I've got a list going on what I want to try. So You also have something going on as well at Siouxland Library as well, holding a uh, one-stop shop for families to sign up for assistance. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us a little bit more about uh, this specific program that you're offering yeah. to people? Yeah, it starts March 21st. We have a few dates in April as well, but March 21st, it'll be from 4 to 7 p.m. at the Prairie West Library. It's open to families with children ages 0 to 5 or expectant mothers, mm -hmm. and it's a one-stop location for people to sign up for benefits like WIC or SNAP, um, free and reduced school lunch, and more. Lovely. Well, yeah. Emily, thank you again. Always mm -hmm. good to see you. I know we've got this endless queue. Why not add to more of this? Exactly. Well, this one I should be able to hit up pretty quickly. I can make some right. meal prep. Unless you all check it out again. You all seem to get that on me. <laughs> well, overall here, Tyler, the weather is, you know, decent if you want to grab a book and read outside. 